Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Boosted Rides and Power Slides and today what we're going to be working on is the front grill. Let's get into it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking off the front grill and I'll be showing you guys some more of this thing because a lot of you guys said that it was going to look like crap and I'll lower it down and show you guys what it looks like when it's fixed or down in this down slid position and then uh, yeah we're going to start making this thing look a lot better than what it does right now. So that's what it looks like when the grill is down. Where the license plate is down. A lot of people said it was going to look super crappy and it's not even... It's not even that bad. Alright guys, so normally to get off your grill, if you have like a normal grill um, without like an opening like this, you're going to have these screws along the top right here. There's two screws right here that you need to use to prop down the bumper. You're going to need to like kind of pull it off. If you're not going to pull off the entire bumper, you need to like pull it off these two little clips right here push it back and then there'll be um, I think four screws along the back here that you need to get off and then you'll be able to pull out your grill but since mine is open I can access these screws from the back so I don't need to pull it off from right here but I'll show you guys that they're just these little plastic screws so you just unscrew them You're going to want to have like an assortment of screwdrivers, like a regular one, it's, it's a regular Phillips one is going to be fine. But what you really want is like a little short stubby regular screwdriver like this so you can reach these small ones back behind here. As you can see we're going to be using fiberglass to make the front grill. So I picked up this fiberglass mat, fiberglass resin, and most important, rubber gloves. You don't want to get this on your hands because uh, all the instructions say not to. And if you do, you'll die. Probably not. But yeah. So this fiberglass, it says it's 100% waterproof. It's strong and durable. Exactly what we're looking for. enough because the camera's still going. So you're going to cut out your fiberglass strips and we are going to take, you want to do this again in a well vented area because this stuff is like super toxic. Probably should be wearing a mask but uh Pour some resin in. And you take your hardener and you only mix a few drops, a few drops of this. So what you're gonna do with it. Alright, so after the fiberglass has all been laid down and all the resin is soaked into the fiberglass, you then let it sit and cure for approximately two hours. And then you go ahead and cut off all the excess that's underneath. So we are back, day two, working on the grill. I just got back from work, so I'm going to sand down the grill because the fiberglass is fully cured on there now. And you guys are going to kind of get a two-for-one video this time because, uh... Yesterday, uh, while I was at school, I actually went and picked up some ABS plastic, like a big sheet of it, so that I can um, make a front splitter, because I want a front splitter. I've been talking to a bunch of people about making front splitters, and it's just like, uh, I want it fully custom, and I want it the way that I want it, so looks like I'm going to be making it myself. So we're going to be working on the grill. After I sand down the grill and lay up some more fiberglass, we'll then start working on the splitter, and once we've 
let enough time for the fiberglass to cure, then we'll go back to the splitter. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing right now. First, I gotta go mail out some stickers, and then uh, we'll get right into we'll get right into uh, building the front grill and the splitter. All right, let's get it. All right, so as you guys can see, this is the way that the fiberglass laid up. It's all dry now, and yes, it's supposed to look all wavy and stuff like this. You just gotta sand that down and then bondo on it after just to make it smooth. But for right now, this is literally one layer. This came up nice. I'm gonna come up more on the sides right here and build more up in here, make it more smooth or just flowing. I don't know if I'm gonna extend this out, but um, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand this a little bit right now so it gets a little bit scuffed up so that the resin has something to adhere to. And then, yeah, I'll be laying down the second coat of fiberglass. All right, so now what I'm going to be doing is I've already cut out my strips of fiberglass. What you wanna do is have these already preset and like ready to go. You get a cup to mix your fiberglass or your resin in so you have your resin your hardener, your stick, your brush, whatever you're gonna fiberglass, all ready to go and set up because when you get this all mixed up, you wanna have this um, ready to go. So, first gonna open, uh, I'm gonna open the resin. I ripped my glove, dang it. It's not just be, having it like that and then what you're gonna do is it, I learned my mistake from last time is that I poured a little bit too much resin and I used a little bit too much so that's about good so literally I just used a little bit in there I don't know if you guys can see that but that's just very little and after that what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna take I think my name may have been in the way. So after you have your resin all in the cup, you're gonna take your hardener, you're gonna use a few drops of hardener. This stuff works really well. Two, one, two, just a little bit. I may have used too much. It might harden too fast or too quickly. So what you wanna do is mix that around. Again, you wanna do this in a well-ventilated area or well-vented area ventilated I don't know because this stuff smells pretty bad if you feel like it's not thickening you can use a little bit more Cut up smaller pieces.
all laid up. And it is, um, it's going to come out nice. Splitter. Alright guys, so I picked up, like I said, ABS plastic to make a, a front splitter. And so the way that I'm going to make the front splitter is I'm going to make a mock-up out of cardboard. Completely make like exactly how I want the splitter to look. Everything out of cardboard. And then I'm going to trace that onto the ABS plastic with the holes and everything that I want to like mark up and drill out everything so that when I trace it onto the ABS plastic all I have to do is cut it out, drill out the holes and then I can easily bolt it up. Alright, let's get it. Yeah. I'm making a front splitter for it. Yeah. Alright. Talk to you later, Matt. Yeah, cool. Later. Everybody calling me while I'm trying to film. Stop trying to call me while I'm trying to film. Alright, so now I got the rough size of the splitter. Now I'm going to uh, draw on here the shape of the splitter that I want. And then, um, then it's going to be time to trace it out and cut it out. Alright, so I have my template cut out that I'm going to be using for the front splitter. And the most, in the most outrageous design that I had come up with. And so I have the other designs drawn on here, which are obviously less aggressive so that I can cut more of the material away. But this is what I'm working with so far. I'll come back to you guys once I've cut it down and decided what I'm going to do. Alright guys, so I know this episode is weird, as it already is. Alright guys, I know this episode's gonna be a really weird one, but the splitter that you guys saw that I'm making at my front grill, the deadline for my car has significantly increased. I need to have my car fully done by Sunday, which you guys will be seeing this video on Monday, so the Sunday would have already passed because of a, a big secret you guys will find out later, I promise. It's gonna be awesome, but my car deadline is significantly increased. I have a lot of work ahead of me for the next three days. Today is Thursday, so tonight I will be working super late. Friday I will be working super late. Saturday I will be working super late to get the car done by Sunday. So I'm sorry if there's not a lot of talking or if there's not a lot of explanation, that's why. But you guys will, you'll see, you guys will see. Sorry. I'm really, really, really excited but I can't tell you guys what it's for. You guys will see, I promise, but just wait. All right guys, so what I have here is my template of my splitter. Template of my splitter, sorry, there's this thing is huge. I don't really have a lot of room in my garage, but this is the template, I will be tracing it out, and then once I trace it all along, like the, the edges and everything, then I will cut that out. Cool, yes. Excited. Let me know if you're excited. If you love it or hate this design, I don't know how much I love it. I might be making the horns a little bit smaller, cutting them off. I have no idea how it's going to look when it's on the car, but I can always fix that after the fact. But keep you guys keep you guys updated. This is uh, the progress so far. Also, right here I have canards. I wanted to go with more of like a custom canard. I was talking to somebody about making custom canards. I might be doing that later. Or can, can I, I don't know how you pronounce them. But... You know what I'm talking about, they go on the side of the bumper, they're cool, but I was talking to somebody about making custom ones, and uh, they just were not going to get here in time, and it was going to take a lot longer, so I might have to build some of my own custom ones, probably use these ones, I have no idea, but that's the idea, so we're going to get some canards on there, the splitter, we got some uh, splitter rods coming in for this to make this a lot more stable, and yeah. Let's get it. Let's get to it. <laughs> oh. Alright, cool. So, uh, we traced out the splitter. Now we're going to cut it out. Right, Brandon? Right. So, you guys saw Brandon before. He ripped out his motor. 
down went. Okay. And now we're gonna make a splitter, and that should be okay. Right? Maybe. Let's see how it comes out. And if it's fucked up, I'm gonna blame you. In this, hopefully my hands don't get cut off. That would suck. That would suck. Let it rip, cool? chocolate chip. Alright, so we're getting, uh, we're moving. Slowly but surely. We got this. This is gonna come out good. What's up? Shouts out to my brother for finally hitting a thousand. Hey. This is for you. You have to read everything on it. You gotta read everything on it? <laughs> on your way to becoming a shark, gummy shark. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, one gram. <laughs> Damn. Crossed out the zeros. No hope. And Brandon, what did you say? Why do you wear safety protection? This is a death wheel. No, what did you say about your eyes, though? Oh, they shoot up in your eyes? Yeah, but you said something specifically about your eyes. Don't you want to see me walk down the aisle? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you remember that. Guys, I know I've already said this, but this video is going to be crazy. And I know that you guys aren't going to be able to see everything. I'll do more of an explanation later, but just my car has to be done by Sunday. You'll be seeing this Monday, so this will have already passed, but my car needs to be done by Sunday. And yeah, that's all that I can hint at for you right now. So I'm going to be finishing up the splitter. The canards are already on there. I know you guys are gonna give me shit about that because I don't know how they're pronounced. So I put the writing on the screen right here. And uh, I mean, that's a canards. You, you get what I'm saying. They're they're in. Uh, they're already on the bumper. And um, oh, these rods, splitter rods, came in today for me. So I need to get this splitter done. I also need to finish the front grill, and a long day ahead of us. So I need to stop talking, and I need to get working. So I'll get back to you guys uh, when I'm done. Yeah. All right. This is what the canards came like, or this is what the canards turned out like in broad daylight. So this is what the splitter looks like right now. Um, these horns right here, I think I'm actually gonna make them a little bit smaller. It's a cool idea, but I think it's just one, it's too aggressive like this, as well as I think it's not gonna be super sturdy. So I think it might flex, flex. All right, you guys, so the splitter is 100% cut out and ready to go on the car. So I think I'm gonna start jacking up the car looking at how I'm gonna mount this and uh, yeah, we'll get to installing it. Let's get it. As I'm, uh, I'm using screws to uh, fix this up here. Make it stay up here.
Alright guys, so I know I look a little bit funny, but uh, I'm going to start working on the grill now. All the fiberglass has been laid up, all the resin has cured, and now it is time to cut, sand, and shape this thing. Now the biggest thing with fiberglass is when you do fiberglass work like this, it gets everywhere. The dust, the, the strands of like fibers, one, it's very itchy, two, it will irritate your skin, and three, the dust will get everywhere. That was scary. I'm having this problem for a few days now where I start the car and um, you see the little airbag guy? The little airbag guy right here um, yeah doesn't shut off why it's not going off but it's been like consistently on for the past few days and I thought maybe something was wrong maybe something broke I have no idea why that was on but then, I discovered this. Now let me take you guys somewhere. And then I found this little guy right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, yeah, this plug, this clip, is not clipped in. And there's a clip uh, right here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll probably have like an arrow or indicating something right here. There's a clip right here that is uh, obviously not clipped in so I'm gonna try and clip this in right here for you guys I don't know if you'll be able to see it and um, I'm gonna see if that solves my problem Ooh, do you hear that clip I heard that click I don't know how that even got unhooked or unclipped that was pretty difficult to even push in So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the car for you right now. Oh! Oh! The little airbag guy went away. Yeah! Alright, so now if you guys are having that problem or you guys are having an airbag light come on, Check under your driver's seat and your passenger seat. It should be a black clip with um, green prongs on the inside. Awesome. All right, so we're out here wrapping it up. It's like 11.30 at night. We have Lauren sand in the front grill right now. I trimmed it up, put all the Bondo on it, sanded a lot of it. She decided to take over while I went to go uh, get a snack. And... Um, Finished up the front lip. I was trying to do something crazy, like thinking the ideas with the horns, but I was going back and forth and then Carter decided to uh, tell me that the horns were a little bit excessive. I'm sorry that we're moving so fast on this project that you guys haven't been able to really see anything, but the canards are on there, the splitter's on there, the front grill is about to be done, and we're going to be able to have everything done for Sunday, so we'll keep you guys posted. Alright guys, so it is Saturday night, the night before Sunday when the car needs to be done. The car absolutely needs to be done by tomorrow and there's still a bunch of work left to do. So I went picked up the lip liner for the front splitter to make it smooth, perfect, and look professional. As well as while I was at work today, Lauren came in, bonded the rest of the front grille, sanded it down. We're still working on some of that in the final stages of like bondo, sanding, and making it 100% perfect. Then we need to hit it with the high filler primer, paint, clear coat done there's still and then like little things here and there like cleaning the the inside and there's a lot of work left to do I, I wish I could tell you guys what it's for but you guys you guys will see soon enough but uh, I need to get to work because I have a long night ahead of me and I'll film a little bit for you guys but yeah I need to stop talking let's get it Alright guys, I just want to start off by saying thank you guys so much for watching the videos, for supporting, for a thousand subscribers. It's just freaking insane. I never thought it would grow this fast, but just want to say thank you guys for sticking through this video for the thousand subscriber celebration preparation. Uh, but this literally down to the T. Today is Sunday morning. I need to get going 
So I'm going to end this video and start another. Um, so you guys will probably see this one tomorrow on Monday. But here's how everything turned out. It's actually freaking raining right now. It's ridiculous. But I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you guys like how everything came out. And let's get rolling. So here is how it all turned out. Alright, so I just want to say thank you guys so much. If you guys like this video, smash that like button. Comment down below, tell me what you think, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time. We out. On the front of the bag and on the set. Tyler, I literally, look, it's a look. Keep. I went out in public like <laughs> this. Hey, what the, oh shit. Okay. Keep sliding. Disney passes? Wow. Congrats on 1K. Go big bro. On the way to the top. Swaggity swag. Open the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Remember our 30% deal? Yeah. Hey, no, that was a one-way thing. <laughs>